Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss some types of stimuli-responsive polymeric nanomaterials acting as targeting drug delivery systems. My name is Isra Al Morsi. My teammate is Muhammad Al Ghubashi. Let's start. Delivering the drug to specific tissue without affecting the other parts of the body is a challenging problem. Many solutions were proposed to solve this dilemma. One of which is to formulate a carrier system sensitive to certain stimuli in the targeted tissue. Stimuli might be change in the pH, hypoxia, redox state, concentration of enzymes, and reactive oxygen species levels. In our video, the different type of stimuli will be demonstrated in detail. First, the pH responsive system. This system is used for intercellular delivery. In normal cells, the system depends on the difference in pH gradient inside the cell, where the pH is 4 in lysosome and 6 in endosome. Therefore, the materials are chosen with function group with pKa between 4 and 6 to be able to change its physical chemical properties during their endolysosomal trafficking. While the pathological conditions, including inflammation, infection, and cancer, are characterized by the presence of acidic tissue. For example, the pH value typically range from 6.7 to 6.9 in tumor tissue at a certain distance. One example of polymeric nanoparticle is the pH-triggered charge conversion nanoparticles that were used to enhance the cellular uptake of the drug based on the change from being negatively charged to positively charged in the slightly acidic extracellular environment of the tumor. Secondly, the reactive oxygen species, ROS responsive system. Many serious human diseases such as cancer, inflammation, and Alzheimer's disease are linked with ROS overproduction. Thus, it can be exploited in the development of ROS responsive carriers. Last system to be discussed today is hypoxia responsive system. Hypoxia is a condition in which the tissue has insufficient oxygen supply, less than 1.4%. For example, solid tumors. Solid tumors contain hypoxic regions, surrounding area of impaired circulation and extensive necrosis. Recently, the hypoxia responsive groups were utilized to develop hypoxia triggers drug release system for cancer treatment. Other stimuli responsive systems are being developed nowadays. There are systems responsive for other intrinsic stimuli or extrinsic stimuli. This field is a promising field for targeted drug delivery. Hope you like our video. Thank you. Created using Powtoon.